Did you know that popular actress Angie Harmon refused to do sex and bikini scenes in Baywatch Nights so that producers would take her seriously? The Texan model only wanted to prove that she was more than just a pretty face, and it would cost her career and many broken romances. But the question is, is it in any way related to the rumored forbidden romance with American comedian Conan O'Brien? Let's find out while showing you some of her rare photos. Angela Harmon was born into a family of models. Her father was a popular face in Texas advertisements, and her mother doubled as a commercial material and an interior designer. So, young Angie spent her early days learning the proper poses for the best camera shots. Her modeling career started with diapers in a car seat commercial, and unfortunately, this was around the same time her parents separated. With no siblings and very little attention from both parents, Angela blossomed into a tall and beautiful teenager. 15-year-old Angie would beat over 60,000 other students to win the Seventeen's magazine cover model contest in 1987. As compensation, her prize was a brand new car. From then on, Angie Harmon's light became even more difficult to hide. She attracted many top brands, and very soon, she was seen gracing the runways of popular designers like Calvin Klein, Giorgio Armani, and Donna Karen. She also appeared on the cover of evergreen magazines like Elle, Cosmopolitan, and Esquire. Traveling all over the world as a model seemed to be enough for Angie Harmon as she initially turned down actor David Hasselhoff's offer to cast her in the lead role on his TV series, Baywatch Nights. With the right amount of persuasion, David was able to convince her, but Harmon would almost regret this. The movie was not the hit she was promised, but the compensation was something that she never recovered from. Her role in Baywatch Nights gifted her a new passion for acting, and Angie wasted no time to leave her trophy modeling career behind. She spent the next two years learning all that she could about acting, but it still wasn't going to be as easy. After months of struggle, she was able to get a role as an FBI agent on ABC's C-16. Though it was only for one season, Angie still refused to be discouraged. She remained fierce and competitive, and by 1998, she shocked the industry when she was chosen as assistant district attorney Abby Carmichael of NBC's series Law & Order. The media went on fire. They heavily criticized her, and a reporter even asked her if she would wear bikinis during sweeps. But the executive producer, Dick Wolf, would come to her rescue. According to him, Angie was chosen for three reasons. The first was that she had raw intelligence. The second was that she was hot. And the third, and maybe the most important, was that she was the first cast member to have an authentic regional accent. And it turned out that he was right. For her role in the series, Abby earned four Screen Actors Guild Award nominations, among many other nominations. Angie's time in Law & Order ran from 1998 to 2001. During this time, she voiced the character of Batgirl in the animated movie Batman Beyond, The Return of the Joker. Post Law & Order, Angie Harmon was mostly seen in movies, from playing the CIA handler of the teenage spy in the 2003 movie Agent Cody Banks, to co-starring with Cuba Gooding Jr. and James Woods in the Endgame movie. Still, it was almost looking like another endless pursuit of a big break. Angie tried again in television shows, ABC's Secrets of a Small Town and NBC's Inconceivable in 2006, but they both failed to get full seasons. Inconceivable was even canceled after two episodes. The following year, she bounced back, starring in another ABC pilot, Women's Murder Club, which aired for 13 episodes. When all else failed, she dusted her modeling career from the shelf, and we began to see her on the covers of magazines. To attract even more attention, she went all nude in the May 2008 issue of Allure magazine. She was seen with actresses like Gabrielle Union, Zoe McClellan, Jill Scott, and Anna Ortiz. Her big break finally came in 2010 as the lead in the TNT series Rizzoli and Isles. She took on the role of Boston police detective Jane Rizzoli. The show was a major hit and it ran until 2016 for seven seasons. In the end, Angie won the 2012 Gracie Award for Outstanding Female Actor in a Leading Role and the People's Choice Award for Favorite Cable TV Actress in 2015. Back in 2012, Angie Harmon appeared in an episode of Conan O'Brien's talk show. Even though she is not one to go for a married man, many viewers argued that her laughs and giggles were not as innocent as they seemed. Ever since the talk show premiered in 2010, she has been a frequent visitor, and there's no denying the natural chemistry between them. Viewers can't help but wonder if all of these flirtations were just for laughs or if they continued somewhere more private. While Angie refuses to comment on the true nature of this ship, 
Conan carelessly leaves hints that prove that there is more to their friendship. In 2014, in another episode of Conan's show, Angie brought a unique cocktail to the show. And then this happened. Yes. Oh, they're busy. Yeah, it's all right. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay. That was Conan, hands intertwined with Angie's and almost forcing his face awkwardly close while maintaining eye contact. Maybe they are just really great friends. But what about the time when Angie confessed that the American comedian sneaked up behind her and whispered that they belong together? And the many other times when Conan is caught gushing about how amazing and sexy Angie's voice is. Nothing has still been said so far, but last we heard, these two remain jolly good friends. Conan O'Brien has been happily married to Liza Powell since 2002, but unfortunately we can't say the same for Angie. Angie has always been very private about her love life, but even that couldn't guarantee that her heart would not be broken a few times. With her father's blessing, New York Giants cornerback Jason Seahorn got down on one knee and proposed to Angie on live television in 1998. They got married on June 9, 2001 in Harmon's hometown of Texas, then moved to Los Angeles after a few months. In 2003, the couple welcomed their first child, Finley Faith. Angie went on to have Avery Grace in 2005 and Emery Hope in 2008. To protect her daughters from all the Hollywood noise, Angie and Jason agreed to move to North Carolina. This was during her shoot on the TNT series Rizzoli and Isles. The actress had no choice but to alternate her time between Los Angeles and North Carolina because of her family. It took a toll on her, and she had to promise her children early retirement for failing to do her mother's duties. She told Charlotte Magazine, I'd leave there on the Friday red eye, get home Saturday morning, be a zombie all day, and leave Sunday night to be back in the makeup chair on Monday. When we finished Rizzoli and Isles in 2016, I promised my girls I'd never commit to anything that took me away from them like that did. Angie Harmon kept to her promise, and this was when she began to reject long-term contracts so she could invest in producing her own movies. Sadly, after the 12th year of their marriage, Angie and Jason announced their separation in November 2014. They blamed the long-distance nature of their relationship. During this time, Jason took over full parental responsibility for their children, and she never forgave herself for it. When talking about it, she said, When I feel like I'm not doing what I am supposed to as a mother, I will torture myself. I don't know how to deal with it. We sometimes meet in Texas, a two and a half hour flight for both of us. I miss my kids, so it's hard, but my children are so understanding. At the end of the day, she had to sacrifice her marriage for her space in the spotlight. Three years after her divorce, Harmon began dating actor Greg Vaughn, her teenage sweetheart. They kept their relationship very private, as Greg already had three sons. Again, Angie was given a ring on 2019 Christmas Eve, surrounded by a blended family of six children. The relationship ended quietly when we no longer saw them on each other's Instagram. Till today, the media still cannot tell the exact time and reason for their split. Angie recovered very quickly from this one, and she invested more in raising her children and working as a producer. Recently, all Angie Harmon has been doing involves charity organizations and philanthropy. She works with at least 20 different charities and foundations, focusing on abuse, children's rights, health, and human rights. She is praised for using her position as UNICEF ambassador to raise awareness about the issues of child trafficking. In 2012, Angie Harmon received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her contribution to television and film. The last time Angie Harmon made headlines was when she produced a hit movie called Buried in Barstow in 2023. A&E is currently turning it into a series, and the actress promised to star and co-produce. Angie Harmon, now 51, is still a beauty you can't miss, retaining all of her thoughtful and daring personality. The multi-award winning actress still loves the peace of North Carolina, her girls, and her dogs. She is estimated to be worth $35 million.